Stuffy, full ear, no one likes it. What do you do? You go to your doctor, you're desperate enough, you see an ear, nose, and throat doctor, they wanna cut your ear and put a tube in there. All right, whatever, if I have to do that, fine. Or do you? And by the way, when you're done with that tube and it falls out and heals over, then they do it again. So it's understandable that you may have questions about the eustachian tube. What is it? Um, what can I do about it? Why is it torturing me? Lots of good questions. We'll try to answer them for you below. Check it out. I'm Dr. Douglas Scarrado with the Modern Nose Clinic, and we know your nose, which also helps with your ears. Okay, causes of a stuffy full ear. There's a long list of causes, and one of them, maybe the most popular of them all, is eustachian tube dysfunction. What the heck is a eustachian tube, and why is it dysfunctioning on me, you might be thinking. Um, good question. Well, there is the ear canal, which stops in the eardrum. And the other side of the eardrum is a space called the middle ear space. That's where the hearing bones are, they're called the ossicles. And then there's a drain in the floor of that middle ear space, like the drain in your shower, and it goes down into the back of your nose. That, that is you station two. And when it dysfunctions, means it's not opening and closing as it should. We don't want it to be open all the time. We don't want it to be closed all the time. We want it to intermittently open every so often to equalize pressure across the middle ear space and the rest of the world. So that's kind of the, the basics. More next. So what happens when it doesn't equalize across that eustachian tube? That's like when you're descending in an airplane and there's a difference in pressure, causes the eardrum to move one way or the other, causing pain and fullness. And some people feel a sense of decreased hearing or dizziness or ringing in the ears. So a variety of different symptoms you could have. Um, the most common cause of ear fullness is wax in the ear and we don't fix that. But you can go to your primary care doctor, they can look in there, you can put some hydrogen peroxide or mineral oil drops or whatever they think is appropriate. And these are things you can often fix from home. Um, but when it comes to eustachian tube, that's another very common explanation. Why is it dysfunctioning, like I said earlier? Could be because you've got allergies and the allergies are causing that to be sticky like the rest of your nose and therefore air doesn't pressure doesn't move across it smoothly. Um, but you know, if it's not allergy season or if you don't think that's it, you've done allergy medicines, you've tried Flonase, you tried some over-the-counter antihistamines and it just doesn't seem to make any difference, then you might need to do something more. Okay, well what more is there to do? Well, I'm gonna answer that one next. The first thing you really wanna do is make sure there's nothing wrong with your sinuses. If you have a sinus infection, you have an infection, bacterial infection, a fungus ball, polyp cyst, deviated septum, and that's causing you to have kind of drainage going down the back of your nose, right across the openings of the eustachian tube in the back of your nose. It doesn't matter what you do with that ear, it'll keep, the root cause hasn't been fixed, you'll keep having problems, you'll get tube after tube after tube. So if you come to the Modern Nose Clinic or any ENT clinic you choose to go to, um, they may work you up for your sinuses, we're very good at that. Um, and we wanna fix that, if we fix that problem, the ear gets better, Awesome, you're done. That's kind of what our, our plan A is. If, if, if you have nothing wrong with your sinuses or you fix your sinuses, you still have an ear problem, then we could do dilation of the eustachian tube. We call it our Sinusoft procedure. We're the only clinic in the country who offers this. We're able to go to the back of your nose with no narcotics, no needles, no operating room, and we're able to float a small balloon up that eustachian tube. We inflate the balloon for a period of time, and then we decrease it and we remove it, 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Um, and by doing so, we're able to stretch that eustachian tube slightly more open. And again, we don't want it to be open all the time. We don't want it to be closed all the time. We just want it to be open more often than it is now, hoping that will fix your eustachian tube dysfunction. Dr. Douglas Scarrata with the Modern Nose Clinic, and thank you for listening to our video. Hope that answers some of your questions, and I look forward to seeing some of you in clinic. Um, that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Take care.